Hey guys, it's Steve from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a while and I'm so sorry. I've been very sporadic with uploading videos and all. Uh, just a lot's been going on and I'd rather not get into it right now. But I appreciate your patience and I keep saying I'm hoping to get onto a regular schedule. This is true. I am hoping to and every time I think I'm going to, life throws me another curveball. So, appreciate your patience. But, meanwhile... I have a really quick video for you today. This is a haul. I have a paper here because my address is on here. This is a Timu, very tiny haul that I did. And then I'm going to do a quick flip through of my very first scrapbook. I'll show you what I've done so far. I am a beginner, so keep that in mind. And then the next video I have a really good idea for to show you what I've learned. And we'll do a page together. So... Without further ado, let's get into this. If this is something you might be interested in in the future, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. We do lots of crafty and haul videos. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. So let's get into it. I'm going to take this away and cut it open. It's not yet open. I ordered from Timo, which I haven't done in a while. I had a large credit with Timo. So, not large, but big enough. So, I placed an order. So, Sarah is my daughter. She's the Sarah from Sarah Designs. She lives up the mountains, and she's getting into doing acrylic resin stuff so I got her some resin stuff so she asked for not asked for she put in my Timu cart quite a few items actually there's so many items that if I hit all it says you've you've gone to over the maximum allowed um so anyway whenever <laughs> whenever I go into Timu to place an order for myself. I'll just grab a few items that she wanted and I'll buy them for her. So, these are little bumblebee charms, which I might take a few of them off of her. I might take a few out of the package. Little charmy charms, Sam. Don't look at my nails. They're a mess. I've been doing yard work. Little bumblebee charms. These here are little sunflowers. So cute. These, I think, are fingernail charm things. Let's open it. I'm going up to her house tomorrow night after work. Tomorrow's Monday. She's having a procedure done on Tuesday, and she's nervous about it. So she wanted mommy to come, and I'm like, yes, I will. Happy, happy to. Um, she's just having a test done but they're going to put her under, and she's a little leery of it. She doesn't do well when she's under. So anyway, I'm going up and staying till Wednesday. So look how cute these are. Anyway, this, this is not really dirt. This is actually green spray paint that I am bringing up to Sarah, one of my outdoor tables. I had to take it apart. She doesn't have one. And I wanted to spray paint it because it was kind of yucky. So I spray painted it green for her. My feet are spray painted. Spray painted green now. Shoot. Oh, how cute. These are, are these are like a rubbery. Look at these. I'll link everything below. These are teeny, teeny, tiny. How adorable are these? Little cases are so cute. And Taco just knocked over the blanket. Taco, of course, is behind me. And then this, I don't remember what this is. Oh. It's a rubbery thing. It's a resin. Oh, it's super thick. A resin mold. So she's, my daughter's a medical assistant. She's in the medical field. I'm so proud of her. And so this is a little silicone mold. I, it's very thick for just this little 
I don't know. I don't know anything about doing any of this. She's into it, so. I got her that. That was for her. And then, for me, okay, I'm a glutton for punishment. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I don't have a lot of luck with really big dyes, especially Timu dyes, but I keep trying. I got this one. I couldn't pass it up. It's tropical. Tropical-y. So we're going to try that out today. My husband's page. Today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Um... He's patiently waiting downstairs for me to finish this, to do this video because he wants to go hang outside of the pool. Uh, we have an above ground pool. Um, I'll insert our little oasis picture up here somewhere. This I didn't realize is a twofer. This comes off. So we're going to put that in a second. And then I couldn't resist this big, huge alphabet die and it's got borders. And I, the reason I got the brother's hand cut was so that I can just put stuff, program stuff, and cut it out in the program without having to buy dies, but I just can't resist. They're like alphabet bubbly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 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 G, did it be? There's M. N. It's a V. Okay. So we're going to try these out. So these aren't going to fit in my little scanner. So I'm going to do it in my big scanner. My, not my scanner. My cutter. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back. Okay. I did it with this orange paper. I only put it through once. I did not have high hopes for it. It did make a square. I put it in cockeyed as you can see. And it actually looks like it cut it all the way through. First try. Get out of here, guys. Are you for real? That's not true. Oh, oh my. God, it actually, oh, this one's a little stuck right here, just a little. If you put it through twice, you would definitely have no issues. <gasps> On, I believe I'm looking for my pokey tool thing to poke out these little guys. Look at the little holes. Oh, guys, that worked. Are you kidding me? Well, Timo stepping it up. Woohoohoo! I'm happy about that. That's a huge win. Alright, should we do this one in the same color? I think we shall. I think I'm gonna. you like that. I think that'll work. Probably not. I just break you apart. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I only put this part through right now because I wanted to fit the whole rest of it over here, but we'll at least get an idea of how it works. I pushed this one through twice, to be honest, in all transparency. But let's see. What we got going on here? Sometimes I like doing the pokey thing. Sometimes I don't. Today I'm impatient. Hope everybody's summer's going good. I love the summer. I am hoping to retire in a few years don't know if it's going to be two years or five years or whatever, but no more than five years. Um, <clears throat> and I want to move someplace tropical 
but I don't want to move far from Sarah. And if I go someplace tropical, it's very far from Sarah because I'm already far from Sarah. And if her and Tyler, hi Tyler, start having kids, I'm going to want to be the bestest grandma ever and be around all the time. But if I have a cool place down south by the beach, they could come and I would be the cool grandma. Um, anyway, I just want to make sure that I am close to Sarah as possible in case of an emergency or whatever. So I have to figure all that out still. But right now I'm worth thinking Gulf Shores of Alabama. Pretty sure that's going to be where we end up if we do go. Okay, this is out now, and I think I screwed up. I should have done it one at a time, darn it. Okay, well, you get this, the negative, which is cool. Even without fingernails, I can't pick stuff up. So this is so cool. This will be really cool if you did different colors, obviously. Which I'm going to do. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I did it in black because I like black behind any color or any design. Looks super sharp. I feel. Makes the colors pop. So, this will take quite a while to do, I guess. Not I guess, I know. It's taking me a while here. We're just going to do a couple so you get the idea. Alright, so here's your D. And then your background. Let's do it on white. Don't you love how I have plans? I'm not really an orange kind of gal, but an A and an A and a, a. It seems backwards. It is backwards. Goes that way. No? Yeah. Where's the innards? The A innards. Internet. It's backwards, D. Dum dum. Okay. You get the idea, right? I really don't like the orange with the black, but it'd be cool for Halloween. So. That is that. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. That's our haul. Our little mini haul from Timo. This thing. I can't wait to see what she does with this stuff. I'll give you guys pictures of what she does with this stuff when she does it. Okay. So that's that. Now, real quick, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. It's going to be super, super quick. Through my scrapbook that I am currently in the process of doing still. And I don't know what I'm doing. And a couple of the faces I did have to put stickers on. Because I did not have permission from them to show their picture. So... Just in keeping their privacy private. All right, this scrapbook I got from Goodwill a while ago. It's in one of my old videos, older videos. So I figured it would be a good scrapbook for beginning. It's just really old, flimsy construction paper is what it feels like. It's kind of grayish. There's no design to it at all. It is, what size is it? Uh, 12 by 14. It's from Un Unforgettable Scrapbook and 
scrap and photo book. There's 36 sheets. I, for my birthday, I got a Canon printer and it's, I'm looking at the ink. I, I've, it's got the little things that you pour the ink in, uh, the ink wells. And I've printed out a ton of pictures already. And I still have a ton of ink left in there. So that was a great investment. I highly recommend that. If you're getting into scrapbooking, I definitely would get one of those. Um, my model number is G3270. If you wanted to check that out, go right ahead. Um, and like I said, I'm a beginner scrapbooker. I have been making cards for many, many years. Sarah and I have been doing some paper crafting for many years. Just recently got into scrapbooking. I believe it's a dying art, but I enjoy it. I have a million pictures on a million different phones and I'm like, I got to get them off and put them someplace and do something fun. And I enjoy paper crafting. So this first page is my very first attempt. This was prior to me getting my printer. So these are just pictures I printed out on my regular printer with just regular copy paper. Um, no idea what I was doing, but this was Christmas. This is my, <laughs> my very first page. It obviously has a lot of work to be done, so I wouldn't call this finished. But this is Will. This was Will and my, our very first date ever. <laughs> that was funny. This is Sarah. She's my daughter from Sarah Designs. And this is Taco, who sits, sits behind me when I craft. She's sitting behind me now. She's my... My ride or die. She's with me 24 seven. Um, you'll hear her barking a lot in the videos. And then we have Hunter, but I don't have a picture of me and Hunter anywhere here. So anyway, Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, you ready? So next we have a blank page because, and I, this is what I don't like about this, is that I would have to either do a whole separate page. I feel like you need to, can, join the two pages together. So I know some people have put something completely different on this page than this page. Um, so I don't know yet, it's still a work in progress. This one here is my second page, obviously. And I just put family and this is just me and Sarah. And I just put some little bling pieces here. Just, just playing with different designs. I matted it up, I layered it up. These were little thickets I got from one of the um, hauls I had gotten from Goodwill and some stickers from Dollar Tree and all. We're going to do a page or two together because I have an idea for a video. Um, this one here says March 2024 and this is 2023. So this was Christmas 2023, but this was Sarah and me. We meet up every so often at a at a mall that's halfway between her and halfway between me. But anyway. And then this one was Christmas 2023. So, there's Hunter there. Alright, next page. This was a work in progress. Again, I didn't do anything on this side. I liked the... I had an idea with bubbles. And I was like, this would be a really cool summer splash page. But I don't have pictures to put in here yet. But I was just playing with the design one day. And I used the same flowers that I used here because they happened to be on my desk. And then these are little water droplets I got from Timu, which I thought was awesome for... Can you see them? Awesome for a splashy summary page. All right, still nothing on this page. This was my... I turned 60 on April 1st, and my best friend's birthday is the same day as mine. Um, so her, me, her, and her son, um, met up for lunch and he just turned eight. She's 48 and I'm 60, but anyway, um, birthday twins. So this was our little lunch that we had. And this was when I got my printer from my husband, gave it to me for my birthday. And then he got me a cake and then this was Sarah and I celebrating together we met up some oh no she came down actually and we went out and had lunch together her and I so that was my 60th birthday um so yeah I used a little border punch here I think I used the border punch on this one so yeah 
So we'll do one together. All right, and this is a double-sided book or page. I don't like the gray underneath, so I still have a lot of work to do with this kind of stuff to do the backgrounds. But this is my dad. He lived, they lived in Myrtle Beach, and we went down to see them quite often. Now they're in Texas, but here he is here. He's 90. Thank you. Oh, he'll be 90 in November. He's got dementia now. This is my husband and my dad. My dad loved old fashions. I don't know if he still drinks them or not. And then this is my stepmom, but she didn't give me permission to put her face in, so I'm not going to. Um, my husband, me, and my dad. And then Will and I went to Sullivan's Island. So that was us at the beach down there. And him and I were goofing off in Myrtle Beach. I don't know if you know about Myrtle Beach, but they have a thing called boardwalk broadway boardwalk on broadway or broadway on the boardwalk or something like that and then they have fun stuff to do so we pretended we were surfing and then the big ferris wheel they have there and then me at the beach and then him and i him and i we had a good time that was a that was a fun fun mini vacay and then this one here i think is the last one yep um, this is me and Sarah, so I went up to visit her last year, 2023 this was from. So she lives up in the mountains. So this was summer 2023. So this is Waterfalls by her. The mountains, one of the mountains. She lives like in the middle of the mountains. There's a lake, obviously. So here you can see my backgrounds. I'm starting to get better. I was like, all right, let me cover the whole background because I don't like this. So I covered the whole background. And then I designed it from that. So that's that. And then this matches. This was the snake. You can't really see it. It was really gross and weird. And then we went into some feed stores. It was a where we go? hardware store. And they had little chickens for sale. This is up in the PA mountains. And then this, I tried to do a 3D effect. I took a little pain in the ear. I took the picture of Sarah, little tiny face. Unfortunately, I, I didn't do a good picture because it was cut off up here. Um, and then I just nestled, used my nestled eyes and cut them. And then I just put them up with foam tape and then I doubled it and then tripled and tripled and tripled. It was a pain in the arse. You might be able to see it all back in there. I won't do that again. But I just thought it would be like a cool 3D effect if you can see. And that is it. So, I have an idea of what I'm going to do for the next video. I think I'm gonna show you what I've learned in doing this thus far. I did make my dad a mini photo album and I wish I recorded it. I just did pictures of it, but I wish I recorded it before I gave it to him. Um, and what I learned from doing his and then doing this thus far. And I'll share it with you guys to make it a little easier. So, all right, guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to hopefully get this posted by the end of the day today, which is Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Wow, June 16th already. Um, I got to put the links for the items that's that we got from Timu, that's gonna take the longest. And then um, I'll get this video up for you guys. But meanwhile, I'm going to go get changed and go outside and play in the pool with my husband. So I hope you all have a great day and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.